Warning, the volume video contains me owning the boss. Your discretion is advised. Dang it, not really, but who cares? I'm just saying that I'm gonna own this I'm gonna own this mini mini boss. Okay then, enjoy this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legends of the Twilight Princess is part 66, and I am Jared. Okay, for this exciting video, we will be owning this mini boss, as you hopefully heard at the beginning by the winning sign. Okay, so go ahead and um, for this boss fight, you're gonna need to have out um, your um, bomb arrows, and you're gonna have to have out um, your and your and that's pretty much it. And you have to be ready to transform into a wolf. Okay, what you want to do now is actually just cut, go ahead and cut the vine. And, um, this strange enough sword in the ground will actually, um, fire up and, we're gonna, and it's actually a boss fight, so yeah. I actually, um, am, um, full screen in the video for myself so I can have a better view of stuff, but whatever. And, yeah. So what we're gonna want to do here is actually go ahead and, um, get ready for him. Just go ahead and save. Um, what you're gonna want to do here actually is, let me just go ahead and... I'm gonna explain it right now. Okay, you're gonna just wanna have to um, trans transform into a wolf right now, and um, then attack him. But all, and then you're gonna wanna have to go ahead and bomb arrow him after he appears. And then after that, you're gonna wanna slash at him like crazy. So here we go. First, let's transform into a wolf and turn on your senses to see what he looks like. And this is, I don't know what I forget what his name is, but he's he's like the pose. As soon as he goes all blue and stuff, attack him like crazy. And, um, he appears. As you can see, he's really scary. I think his name's like Dark Gaia or something, but that's the name um, in S for Sonic Leash or something. So what we want to do now is actually um, bomb arrow him. And um, he'll spin around a couple times, doing some useless stuff. And then he'll appear here, so just go ahead and throw some combinations in at him. And, um, yeah. And now repeat the repeat the last two set steps and um and uh, be sure to repeat them quite quite quickly because otherwise he will um eventually turn invisible again and um he will and you'll have to fight and you'll have to do, hit him as a wolf again but this is pretty easy actually so go and um i think that's a sword sword of life actually there's a there's something in this temple called the sword of life which um which brings life to um the boss but but we, I'm not complaining. Anyways, we defeated him. The sword of life pretty much brings life to the boss, but you cannot use it. And you see, it disappeared. And actually, um, Zant has the sword of life right now. Yes, that's a little spoiler, but you know, but he actually um, is going to do something with it. I I read somewhere that's the sword of life actually. And if it's not, who cares? I'm still going to call it that. I'm going to save. So, um, this treasure chest actually contains the special dungeon item, which is called the spinner. You got the spinner, it's an ancient power. Okay, set it to be in you know, and spin. Yeah. And, um, you actually need to use it to get out of here, so we're gonna equip it. Not that. It's the spinner. Link, get up the stairs. So, after that, mm, take some rolling stuff, and, um, yeah. It's really cool. I thought you could, I always thought it would go super fast so you could ride it, but it doesn't really. I mean, after you spin it around a couple times, it goes super fast after you jump off walls, but, um, yeah, it doesn't go super fast manually at your option. It goes super fast when it feels like it. And, um, you can probably see around here that there is some spinner walls. This one right there. So go ahead and grab onto this one. Grab onto this one, and after that, just get, take a little just lift off there, and um, you head out here. So there's a spinner w wall to the left of you, and that, so let's go ahead and take that. And uh, one to the right, left, right, left, left right. Um, you need to do this. Uh, you might need, you may need to do this a couple times, but yeah, you're just supposed to land in there and um, open that chest. 
There is four chests in this room. Um, there's one with bonds, ten of them. That could be useful. Actually, that could be very useful. Yeah. Side of this, side of that. Oh, and I fail. I guess what we're going to want to do after that is try to grab onto the wall, but I think it's done for me for now. For right now. Oh, well, you know, I didn't know that. I fail. I'd cut this out, but, um, you know, it's not really that, that, but it's not really that thing, because the next video that I start, actually starts at a pre pretty, um, de good time. So, yeah. I really see no need in the cutting of this, but, yeah. Let's do that. And, uh, grab a kiss. So, get up here, and, um, take a little jump. Now that we've done that, we can actually head over for this. And this is actually a heart piece. Well, you know, it's not that it's not that often you see a heart piece in that small of a chest. That's number I don't know. But anyways, we got like we got like three of them right now. Just two more left and we get another heart container. I always thought that this this um game would be harder to get heart pieces in since the, it since you it requires more to get get all of them. But no, it's actually a little bit easier to get heart pieces in than I thought it would be. So go ahead and use the go ahead and spin around there first. Yeah, the point the, it's timing that you have to worry about in this dungeon to get into. But I think it's kind of weird that. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Yes, I thought I'm. Well, that's not. I'm not gonna worry about that. It seems kind of weird. Maybe I should check it over. But it doesn't really matter right now. What matters now is that I get to the end. So what you want to do here is actually um jump from side to side as soon as these things come up. And I've actually had a lot of trouble with this, so th that could be tough, or it can be totally easy. Whatever works best for you. And there we there we go. The boss key. We could not get this earlier, but somehow we managed to. I'm outside. Of the because I'm actually, um, because I don't like this way when I'm recording. I should probably do, like, a video on how I record or something like that, because, you know, I've been, a lot, some people have been asking me how I record, what I record with, and stuff. And I think it'd be easier to explain in a video. So what we want to do right now is go, get the spinner and go in the middle and, um, just keep, and just keep teabagging the spinner. And eventually, um, the, the gate will open. Open! Okay, guys. Um, I'm actually recording this commentary at a different time than the one that you, that the one that you were just listening to, because um, I got it kind of I got messed up in the commentary um, because uh, my dog came in and interrupted me, so I decided to record at a different time. So yeah, um, if you were, and um, if I was about to end a sentence right there that you didn't get to hear, um, sorry, but I didn't get time to check it over. So anyways, um, what you want to do for this room actually? This is like the one of the this is like the second to last room. You're gonna want to use a spinner. Go around here and try to land in the middle of there. Try to find a good way to land there. And um, I just wanted to mention something. Um, if, you're if you're a subscriber that's neutral that between me and Robbie likes to play, um, he actually has an old channel called Linkin Park Robbie, and um, he actually shows what he looks like in one of the videos there. But um, well, not really his face or anything. It just shows like um, he has a mask on. So yeah, if you wanted to see what he looks like, go ahead and check that out. No offense, but I thought I just thought I just thought people wanted to see what he looks like. Embarrassment because he's playing the drums. At least give it a shot. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that, but whatever. So, anyways, what we want to do for this room actually is um trying to find the right way to land on that thing. My dog is chewing a bone in the background all softly and stuff because he feels like it. And I actually, and my puppy came in here and interrupted me for some strange reason. He was too, ma he was mad at my dog for some, because he just felt, because he felt like it. I'm not kidding, because he just felt like it. So I had to record the comment. So I had to go ahead and get up and take him outside, and he start, and then cut out, and then cut out the commentary where he interrupted me, so I could um, record, so I could record the rest. So yeah, I had to record this on a different time. 
and that was and that ki that kind of ticked me off. So, which you so, yeah. So during your time of trust in this room, you're gonna wanna have to find the right spot to jump at. Um, I think this could be the right spot, so let's go ahead and try it. And there you go. Yeah. Now go ahead and just hump this thing like crazy right now. <laughs> 